How you doing guys? Professor EDC with another Bladeosophy Sunday and this time I want to talk about a little bit um, about I watched an interview um, Bob DeMarco from The Knife Junk interviewed Mr. Ernest Emerson and man what a guy um, just jumping right into the talk, uh, we don't see these uh, people so often nowadays. I'm talking about M Mr. Emerson, and he is from another generation, and um, he um, he's a working man, as he, he called himself. But then again, he's also a, an educated man and a decent person from what I perceived we have forgotten and I am seeing this in, in schools and in what we are teaching children at least um, what the Secretary of Education dictates here in Mexico but and how parents behave nowadays I do think there are um, big differences from the past and today and Mr. Emerson reminded me of that because of the way he spoke. He was very respectful and he emphasized with some stories he told. He spoke about um, the context of, um, of these stories, not to be, in order not to be... Um, misconceived or or taken as a as a discriminatory um, experience which uh, he's absolutely right and but we don't see this um, anymore and and if we see it it is um, castrated and and it is criticized and man how wrong we are We have forgotten about ethics and teaching ethics to children and in schools. And not only that, but also teaching ethics at home. In the end, what are ethics? Um, what is ethics? It's as simple as the study of good and bad. Of good and bad according to who? Well, according to your beliefs and according to not only you, but the community you make um, part, you are part of. If you are part of the Buddhist community, then those uh, principles and beliefs. If you are part of the Catholic community, then those or the Mormons or the Arabs or um, Muslims. Um, but, you know, to live under those um, principles and values and nowadays the values that we are living uh, or following are but a mere joke that uh, youngsters are taking out of TV, out of... Uh, really ignorant people for crying out loud um, might be entertaining um, but um, you know I I decide to skip entertaining um, stuff and watch try to watch things with content um, with uh, significance and not all of this BS that just uh, fills the mind of young people and children and that's what we are f and, and that's what we are feeding them and that's what we allow uh, others to feed our children and that's just plain wrong you know and we don't have to go so far uh, when we talk about plates for example and and um, we talk about a context um, this is a tool 
And this is something I, I really loved about Mr. Emerson and, and his knives because in the beginning, you know, I didn't know what to think of, of these blades, of these uh, folding knives. And it was talking uh, to Edwin from Callow Knives and to Clint from Alchemy underscore one that uh, they, they really recommended these blades. And so, you know, I these two guys I trust a lot. And so I trust their experience and I decided to get my first Emerson, which was uh, a collaboration between CT and Emerson. The 0640, which is a beauty. And I played it safe. Yeah, I know CT a bit more. Um, I have the 0566 and I love the 0562 and the 0560 and well, just a bunch of them. But anyways, I played it safe and, and I got the 0640 and loved it. And from there, I um, decided that I was going to pursue the A100. And this was um, sent to me and sold to me by Edwin. Um, and this is the Super A100. And I knew I wanted the A100. Um, this is the Super. And I love the thing. I still want the A100, the normal size. But I love the thing and I just couldn't let it go. Why? Because the moment I saw these blades, I had them in hand. They are simple and straightforward like Mr. Emerson. They are blades. They are knives. And there's no doubt about it, about it you know? And that's what truth is. There's no negotiating truth. There is no your truth, my truth. There are universal truths that we cannot skip. And this misconception, this um, new age uh, knowledge or this new age um, things that are, that have been um, coming out in the last 15 years or so, man, have this has confused people a lot. And I think we have to get back to our roots and really think about things. And again, go back to ethics and, and study, study uh, the difference between good and bad according to our uh, worldviews, our um, culture views, and um, the community we, we belong to, um, or we want to belong to. Uh, but it is like a light, a lighthouse. Ethics and values and morals are like a lighthouse in a big storm because that's what if we see the world today how we are living and and politics and economy and and this covid thing and um you know the air is all like rare we don't know um where politics stand nowadays and what new economical system is going to appear by disappearing um a lot of people uh, with what is happening. So we got to, I think we got to take a stand and, and realize what's good and what's bad uh, once again and come together and help each other. Like um, this is something I have always uh, admired from, from Americans. When, when any crisis hits a, co a community or a state, whether it's a hurricane or um, a tornado, or fires, you know, the, the communities come together and, and really help each other out. And from all over the country, whether it's a football team or it's a basketball team or a hockey team or any organization get, um, gathering money, 
the same that as we have done here in the community when uh, wanting to help a member of the community, you know, um, we help out each other and, and specifically in the States, you guys help out each other wonderfully. And, and that's something I've always admired when I lived there and um, still um, living here in Mexico. That's something I admire from any culture that, that does that. And I think that's what we have to do once again. We are in crisis. We are in an economical crisis and a world crisis. Um, unemployment crisis, economical crisis, and I don't know, if, I don't think we are realizing how bad it is, but uh, the only thing that's really going to save us is coming together and retaking and um, re-educating ourselves and realizing where we are standing what and what is wrong with us, the way we are living, and relearning values that our fathers and grandfathers and uh, forefathers of nations um, established for us. They really thought about this, you know. Um, our constitutions, they were not uh, a recipe. They were creating societies, and they did. And we have forgotten about that. And we have to recreate our societies, or so I believe. And it, it's a dangerous path, and it's, it's a hard uh, path. But we must first stop all of this stupidity and ignorance, active and passive ignorance, and become active in learning, become active in... Um, restructuring our societies and come together as a whole um, people and help each other out. Otherwise, I don't see any governments, whether in the States, whether in Mexico or in, ma <laughs> in many other places, um, I only see them looking at their own interests and um, this wonderful phrase um, established by, by the forefathers of, of the United States, um, a government for the people, by the people and with the people, I think it was something like that, a wonderful, wonderful phrase, but not just a phrase, a belief and something that they created has um has been weakened and I believe um, we are living on the razor's edge and we gotta be careful we gotta be careful how we walk in the middle of that edge too much weight on one, one side it's gonna cut me too much weight on the other side it's gonna cut me but if I keep a balance and walk carefully and steadily and together with other people, I think we have a chance of overcoming what we are living. And the way to do it is exactly in that sense, carefully carefully sensing and feeling that edge that we are living in. We don't have to be aggressive. We got to be careful and pay, pay, paying attention. So that's it for today, guys. I hope uh, um, you you don't take it any, any anything um, offensive in, in this um, everything I have said I just um, the this interview with Ernest Emerson just surprised me because of the sincerity in his speech and and just straightforwardness like his blades and it reminded me you know how we were once taught at least uh, those who are of my age or older uh, should understand I'm 45 
Um, and well, I think I, that's the way I try to live. I know I make a lot of, a lot of mistakes, but I am trying and I'm trying to live that way with ethics, with the best that human beings have been capable of. Please don't forget to subscribe, share, click on the bell for notifications and like and participate or dislike and participate. I always respond. Might take me a bit, but I always respond. You can reach me at professoredc at hotmail.com or um, in Instagram at professoredc. Professor with one S because it's in Spanish, okay? So you guys have a great week and think about this. We are always constantly creating a new society. Which society or in what type of society do you want to live and you want your children and grandchildren to live in? Have a great week, guys. Professor ADC out.